Welcome to the man cave. Deacon and I are doing some fun things today. Number one, we've got this AXP skid plate that we um, ordered. It came out of France. It was actually shipped by Lucas Paluca. Yeah, in the uh, Czech Republic. So let's get in and see what's in here. We'll just come to the KTM hauler. It's a um, all right. So this is made out of ABS that they um, that they heat up and bend and it looks like uh, yeah so generally what what you would do is they would machine a, a groove uh, where they need it to be as a relief and then fold it up into it and then they weld it uh, with some ABS cement and uh, it's pretty thick yeah so it's a uh, showing 7.8 millimeters so let's pull us an update millimeters and um, let's see what else we got here now at the beginning of this series on building up the 2019 KTM 690 I mentioned I want I was going to keep the uh, uh, this stock skid plate and don't worry about it because I'm not going into any really gnarly places but um, some of you guys might want to, so that's why I'm doing this. So it comes with some hardware, a couple were floating around in the bag. And um, let's see what we got for directions. A couple of things, obviously, this is going to connect onto the frame. And uh, like that. So that's pretty straightforward. That's also looks like it's machined out of uh, really thick ABS. Um, now that eliminate the rubber baby buggy bumpers at the the stock one. Comes with uh, two stickers for your, either your Savarna 701 or the KTM, black and orange. So, I can always move this over if I ever get me a Husky, which I doubt. All right, um, got a nice sticker. I'll find a place to do that since they discounted it. So, it looks like the... Uh, Existing mounting brackets on the KTM um, are going to be used, and these are going to get mounted like this. Either I'll have to see. Okay, so uh, there's some adjustment in here, so we'll just go ahead and get started. You guys are complaining about my uh, handheld camera work, so I'll I'll try to don't do anything until I've got it situated. So yeah, the first thing is the uh, we'll do the this part right. Add the other parts. Okay. Hardware that we need to get. Looks like we got. 20 millimeter, 25 millimeter, and 30 millimeter. So let's assemble this thing. And then there's a bolt, and I think that's for the brake protection. But I'll just get it snugged up, and uh, so it's still adjustable.
Right now I'm just letting gravity seek its, that would be the, where it would stick the highest up on the bike with this hole down. So with the bracket falling down. And we'll see if that works out for us. But it does compress the the ABS. Maybe I just need to screech it down some more. Alright, that's okay. So I really had to bury it by it, so it's kind of pushing the plastic out of the way. Um, but it, it's nice and smooth. Okay, so that's basically got the basic assembly there. This should be pretty straightforward. Wow, that's loose. Brand new bike, of course. Haven't um, looked at everything. This one's loose too. And uh, I thought I would donate this one to my 2015. Alright, because it goes on with those little rubber parts in the back and those won't be used anymore. We're not going to need these little rubber parts anymore. I'll, I can move those over to the 2015. Or just put them on the stock one. Alright. Uh, let's see how easy you go on now. So it goes on to a frame member, up, and I can't hold it up and whack it at the same yeah. time. Shove it up in there. You don't want to put a jacket or something under it? Just can't quite. I'm either going to have to cut the nose of this off a little bit or uh, take this off to make that go straight up. Alright, so I took this off. See, theoretically, I guess he wants to... Alright, so we'll go in. I think what I just need to do is... Take this little piece off. supposed to get shoved back so if you want to go straight up with it you can see I'm I'm interfering here and interfering there It'd be best if I, if I could get it so it just go straight up right but is there enough uh, meat to hold it what would be the best thing to do here I think it really needs to have some of this taken off
Maybe a little bit of both. Alright, let's go to the handy dandy um, sander. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to round this a little bit more. Take this down a little bit more. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to flatten that out. So the one part you have to kind of shove it into place and move it in. It's not very good for it interferes here. So I made some changes and that goes in easier. So here's the difference. I took the round off the back here. See that? It was straight in my sander. I added a, a chamfer here. I took that little corner off there and I cut the, um, the end of this down by one millimeter and put the radius back in it. So I'm going to do that to the other one now too. Okay. I've got these cut down. See, just you can deburr this with just just your fingernail because it's really soft stuff. But uh, so that's so that seems to go in okay. Good place for the coffee. What do you think about that? Put these back on. If this works now, okay. Uh, now over here, there's the next issue. I'm trying to get this screw here mounted. I got um, several of these kind of screws. Oh, I'm sorry, I got several of these kind of screws. And I think that one there is going to be perfect. I'm having to muscle it into place. Okay. I can't tell what's happening on the other side. But, um... I do know that this bracket wants to be right where it's at, so. All right, now to this side. I'm gonna have to move it in. I recruited a, a fella down the street to come over and help me lift the bike back up. I'm gonna have to muscle this thing in. There you go. So I can get to this t uh, to drain oil here. It'll go out. And if I look up in there, I, I should be able to get to that part two. So I shouldn't have to take this off to work on it. Now the only thing left to do is to put the right decal on it. I could put the Husky one on there just for grins.
Thanks for watching.